Hello again, grappling fans. Good afternoon to you. And here we are at the Victoria Baths, Nottingham, for a freestyle wrestling session, starting with this light heavyweight contest of six five-minute rounds. Two falls to the side between Alan Dennison. They're pointing his finger with his... Oh, I don't know whether those are leather wristbands or not, but if they, if they are, Johnny Quango, I think his, his opponents, is complaining about it already, maybe. Bob Valanda, the MC on the right. Ernest Baldwin, the referee on the left. Alan Dennison with his back to us, already in a fight with Quango before the bell for round one. Quango finally in his corner. Johnny Quango from West Africa at 13-7. Alan Dennison from Bradford at 13-4. Seconds away, first round. And finally, we seem to have settled down. And we're Run. off on round one of six five-minute rounds. Two falls to the side. And a double-handed wrist lever to Dennison from the start. <laughs> and that's one way out of it. The crossed hands. No, they are not leather, those wristbands of Dennison's. He used to insist on wearing leather, but the <laughs> the authorities decided to ban leather wristbands from now on. Don't know what material they are, but they're not harmful to anybody. Just sweatbands. Referee Ernest Baldwin, the former heavyweight champion of Great Britain. Come on. Come on. Dennison, a man who is very proud of his tremendous strength. But Quango's no weakling, and he's got tremendous timing with it, so it'll be interesting to see which comes out on top here. So a backhammer to Johnny Quango, and so far, the special leotard, style leotard of Dennison, hasn't come into operation, but I bet it will. <laughs> Except for the cheek hole, the jaw hole. <laughs> As always, Johnny Quango's opponents always beefing about Johnny Quango headbutts. And Alan Dennison, no exception. left in this first round of six and back to a wrestling move by Dennison
so many jaw holes and chin holes going on here, which have nothing to do with freestyle wrestling at all. It's nice to see uh, Franco polishing his forehead. Just under half a minute left. Yes! Uh, uh, no! Miss with the first. And a hardly time to uh, look for another headbutt chance this ball. Johnny Quango from West Africa, 13 stone, seven pounds, the light heavyweight champion of West Africa. Actually his father from Africa, his mother from the West Indies. This man who used to be a ballet dancer and consequently is pretty good with his feet. Second round. Round two, no score. Five to go, two falls to decide this. Light heavyweight contest, Alan Dennison versus Johnny Quango. And it's still the shoulder wrench as he throws. of course uh, if anybody was doubtful as to whose side they were on they're not now it's Quango all the way to everybody here in this packed hall at Nottingham but Ernest Baldwin of course forced to separate even when Quango has the advantage on an illegal move Certainly the type of buzz that's no getting the crowd the going here. Whether it's all wrestling or not. Powerful fingers of Quang. Oh, what a throw from a jaw hole. <laughs> and that was his left hand. Let's go, 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 let's go
And it's Baldwin trying to get underneath there as far as he can to check what Dennison's unsighted hand is busy with. Something out of the float there. Trying a meal no, kick. No, no, no. Just a minute left. <laughs> Great rock throw by Quango. That's the farthest I've seen one go. Scissors by Dennison right on the bell now of round two. Alan Dennison from Denholm near Bradford. As always, getting the crowd right up against him early on in a bout. Shows off just a little bit too much for their liking. Too confident, too cocky, too arrogant. Seconds away, round three. Well, let's see at the start of round three where the Quango behaves like the baby that uh, Dennison seems to think he is. seems to have disappeared underneath the ring altogether here, but if those ladies can get him out, they will and push him back in time. Uh, no, he didn't make it. No, he didn't make it. I'm afraid that's the end of it. It looks very much like it. See what MC Bob Valabra says. Dennison goes around saying, I told you he was like a baby to me. Johnny Quango is complaining bitterly that he was caught underneath the ring and couldn't get out in time. And your hand for the loser, please, ladies and gentlemen. So furious Quango, but he goes down in the round three by a knockout, an unfortunate one. He just failed to beat the count. A knockout in round three by Dennison.